On the shores of a lake in western Turkey, an archaeologist is searching for the remains of an ancient civilization. Less than 200 feet away from his excavation site, however, a secret is hiding underwater and has been for over a thousand years. And it's only in 2014 when surveyors show off an aerial image of the area that the explorers see something incredible. As one of the first places in the world to have been permanently settled, Turkey has a rich and fascinating history stretching back thousands of years and ever since the Greeks brought their culture and language to the Anatolian coast from around 1200 BC, the region has been a melting pot of different religions and ideas. Over the course of history, several different powers have sought to take control of the area now known as Turkey and from the ultimately Christian Romans to the Muslim Ottomans, each successive empire has left its mark on the region. Today the country straddles Europe and Asia, but although it's prosperous and modern, it's nevertheless plagued by political strife. However, Turkey's checkered past also makes it a fascinating spot for archaeologists, with several experts having flocked there over the years in order to study the country's ancient ruins. And they've uncovered plenty of fascinating relics from the distant past, including a Neolithic settlement and dozens of ships. Mustafa Sahin, an archaeologist from Turkey's Uludag University, evidently thought that his country was worth exploring too, as in 2016 he began conducting surveys in and around Iznik in Turkey's Anatolia region. Iznik was once known as Nicaea, an area which had once been an important part of the Roman Empire. Keen to discover relics from Iznik's fascinating past, Sahin began searching around the nearby Lake Iznik for signs of the ancient city of Nicaea. However, it wasn't until 2014 that he realized he may have been looking in vain. What he sought was a little harder to find, it seems. You see, one year previously, authorities in nearby Bursa had begun taking aerial images of the region. In addition, those responsible for the photography had eventually noticed that their images were showing what looked like a ruined structure beneath the waters of Lake Iznik. Wondering if Sahin could tell them more, Safet Yilmaz, a photographic group member, therefore reached out to the archaeologist. Intrigued, Sahin took a closer look at the lake and he was amazed to discover the remains of a Roman-style church or a basilica, clearly defined beneath its surface. When I first saw the images of the lake, I was quite surprised to see a church structure that clearly, he recalled to Live Science in September 2018. I'd been doing field surveys in Iznik since 2006 and I hadn't discovered such a magnificent structure like that. Located approximately 160 feet away from the shore, the remains were covered in only 10 feet or so of water, making it astonishing that nobody would spotted them before. And soon Sahin, along with experts from the town's archaeology museum, began excavating the site in order to learn more. The task has not always been easy, however. As a result of high temperatures in the area, there's a lot of algae growing in Lake Iznik and this in turn reduces visibility underwater. Sometimes, in fact, divers cannot see further than a couple of inches ahead of them. According to Sahin, waves too pose a challenge to archaeologists in the area. The water apparently hits against them and disrupts them as they attempt to carry out their work. Furthermore, the excavations have supposedly disturbed deposits of slime that have been resting on the lake bed. The substance then spreads out throughout the water and creates even more problems. Faced with these difficulties, Sahin and his colleagues were forced to fashion a solution. Using specialist equipment, they therefore created a vacuum to transport soil from the underwater basilica all the way up to the shore. In this fashion, the archaeologist and his co-workers can study what they find up close. And thanks in part to this innovation, successive excavations have proven successful. Indeed, since 2015, the team have made some incredible discoveries, including a number of graves located underneath one of the basilica's principal walls. Inside these graves, the team uncovered coins that allowed Sahin to posit that the structure was constructed sometime after 390 AD. Sahin also believes that the basilica may have been erected in honor of Saint Neophytos, a monk from Cyprus who was martyred in Nicaea in 303 AD. However, it's also been suggested that the sunken church has yet another significance. In 325 AD, Constantine I, the first Christian emperor of the Roman Empire, called for a meeting of bishops from around the world to be held in Nicaea. This gathering would prove consequential as it managed to bring a consensus to a number of divisive issues within Christianity, such as the date on which Easter should be celebrated and the nature of the relationship between Jesus and God. In fact, the First Council of Nicaea is seen as fundamental to the development of modern Christianity, 
And although the basilica in Lake Iznik was unlikely to have been built when this took place, Sagin thinks that it may have been constructed at the location where the venue for the gathering, the Senate Palace, once stood. What's more, Sahin has suggested that some artifacts found at the Lake Iznik Church indicate that an even older structure may have existed beneath the ruins that we see today. Records show that Commodus, a Roman emperor from 180 AD to 192 AD, built a pagan temple dedicated to the sun god Apollo somewhere outside Nicaea's city walls, suggesting perhaps that the basilica was constructed above this temple. For all its apparent historical importance then, how did such a structure vanish into the murky waters of Lake Iznik? Well, it's believed that the basilica stood until 740 AD. Then however, a devastating earthquake hit the region and the building was destroyed. And after that, the ancient church's ruins were gradually lost to the lake. There they lay forgotten for over a thousand years. Today however, the structure could be blessed with a new lease on life. In order to protect the site for future generations, Sahin and local government official Alanur Akhtas have been calling for the location to be transformed into an underwater archaeological museum. If successful, this would be the first attraction of its kind to be built in the whole of Turkey. According to Sahin, the museum would feature a tower some 60 feet in height. This would allow visitors to enjoy a bird's eye view of the underwater basilica. It would also include an overwater walkway diving facilities and even a submerged glass walled room in the structure's nave. Until the plans are approved, however, Sahin's excavations will continue to offer a fascinating glimpse into this forgotten world. Check out these other videos from Let Me Know. If you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel, all you need to do is click on that red subscribe button. Thank you for watching.